صلوا على محمد وآل محمد ما شاء الله لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله العلي العظيم حسبنا الله ونعم الوكيل نعم المولى ونعم النصير رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحلو العقدة من لساني يفقه قولي الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين سيدنا ونبينا وحبيب قلوبنا وطبيب نفوسنا وشفيع ذنوبنا ومولانا أبي القاسم محمد والصلاة والسلام على أهل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين المعصومين المنتجبين المنتخبين الذين أذهب الله عنهم الرجس وطهرهم تطهيرا ورحمة الله على أحبابهم وأصحابهم والشيعتهم ومواليهم أجمعين واللعنة الدائمة على أعدائهم وظالميهم ملعونين من يوم عداوتهم وظلمهم إلى قيام يوم الدين وبعد يوم الدين أما بعد فقد قال الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه المجيد وفرقانه الحميد وقوله الحق وهو أصدق القائلين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم إنما يتقبل الله من المتقين صلوا على محمد وآل محمد Yesterday we were talking about the ghafla of insan, human being, the ignorance that a human being shows <clears throat> in this world. He forgets who has created him. He forgets the fact that he is enjoying the blessings of the great Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He forgets the fact that he has to show gratitude as much as he can to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the ni'mat that he is enjoying. And we briefly went through a few sentences of the sermon of Amir al-Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib salawatullahi wa salamu alayhi in Nahj al-Balagha. Read aloud salawat. No. 
referring to the fact that why does a human being, does insan, not remember Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Why does this fact that he is headed towards his own spiritual destruction will not keep him awake at night? This is something that uh, we had reached yesterday. The sacrifice of Habil and Qabil, both were the sons of Adam. Both knew that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them. Both realized that Adam is Khalifatullah. And both believed that they have to offer sacrifice, and yet we see that there was a huge difference between their sacrifices. So today we will briefly talk about the criteria of the acceptance of any offering or any amal that is performed for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as it is mentioned in the same ayah where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala quotes what Habil said to Qabil innama yataqabbalullahu min al muttaqin that Allah accepts only from muttaqin this particular ayah suggests that Qabil although he believed in Allah although he believed that Adam was Nabiullah although he believed that he had to offer sacrifice and yet he somehow lacked taqwa in his amal due to which his sacrifice was rejected. We also s discussed that we perform many a'mal and every amal that is hasan can be performed with the niyat of qurbat. Qurbatan ilallah. Taqwa, as we know, as ulama say, the lowest form of taqwa, the least form of taqwa is that one should perform all the wajibat and stay away from all the muharramat. Whatever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made obligatory on us, we should perform. And whatever he has prohibited us from, we should refrain from. This is the lowest form of taqwa. So if we are not performing wajibat or missing out on our responsibilities or we are not staying away from muharramat our taqwa our spiritual situation most certainly becomes questionable most certainly becomes questionable what is the reason that a person cannot stay away from a certain prohibited act or he sometimes neglects to perform something that is wajib there could be many reasons but one of the main reasons that we see today in this day and age in our societies whether it is the society of 
New Zealand or Australia hmm? or Pakistan, Iraq, Iran, Bahrain, anywhere you go around the world. One problem that we see in common is that people do not pay attention to the knowledge of halal and haram. Learning about halal and haram always comes secondary. Always comes secondary. We do not pay attention to what we need to know. If you open a Risala Amliya, in, in, uh, any Risala Amliya, in the beginning sometimes there is um, a mas'ala in the beginning, very beginning on the, on the front page you will see that the fatwa of a mujtahid is that it is wajib on every Muslim and Muslimah to learn, th learn about those wajibat which he or she will normally face on a regular basis. It is wajib to seek the knowledge of halal and haram which a person normally faces on a day-to-day -day basis. It is wajib. So the first wajib for anyone is what? Talabul ilm. Talabul ilm means if Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says aqimu salah, salah becomes wajib. We know that Salah is wajib. Now, it is important for us to seek the knowledge of how to perform Salah. He says, Kutiba alaykum al-siyam. Fasting has been made obligatory for you, wajib for you. So what do we need to do? Learn about fasting. If we are earning, then we need to learn about what khums, zakat. If we have enough money and istita'a to go to hajj, again, we need to learn how to perform hajj in a proper way. That is why the, the serious ulama that we see that usually take um, the groups for Hajj, they have a short course right before Hajj in which they teach people how to perform Hajj. They give them the details. This is, it is wajib to know. Correct? You do not know what is wajib, you do not know what is haram. Or if you do know what is uh, wajib and what is haram, you ignore the details and the depth of any wajib. We know that salah is wajib and this is how we perform salah and we do not know how, what to do when you have doubt between third or fourth rak'ah or what to do when you have doubt between second and third rak'ah or what to do when you have doubt altogether about the salah, whether you have performed or not, whether you doubt uh, uh, about the wudu, whether you doubt about your ghusl, whether you doubt about your salah, your niyyat of psalm, all these things, we need to know, we need to learn. Ilm, ilm is something that protects you. Protects you from what? Awalan from the calamities of Akhirah. Because if you act on that ilm in this world and it is the proper knowledge, proper ilm, that would be that would lead to your salvation. Correct? And in this world we need to prosper in the worldly manners and in the matters of Akhirah. 
we as Muslims you can clearly see have not made that much progress when it comes to technology sciences hmm? we have not made that much progress and uh, when it comes to the spiritual knowledge we have marajir we have ulama we have talaba who are continuously studying more and more about islam the only problem is that the common public has no idea what they are studying when they try to teach the common public try to do amr bil ma'roof and nahi anil munkar they have to face difficulties sometimes you come to the public and they seem to have already made up their um, mind about certain ideologies you ask them where did you get this from they have no answer for it certain cultural or traditional things that appear just out of nowhere one has to do that if you don't do that then it is not done properly as it has nothing to do with Islam you pay more attention to that then if a person comes to me and asks is matam seen as any is it allowed in islam is it uh, mustahab or not there could be many answers for this there could be many answers for this normally a general answer yes it could be mustahab right but if a person who is uh, who frequents the casinos and the pubs drinks alcohol and goes to the casinos and has female friends without marriage if he comes to me and it is is it jahar bil fisq everybody knows that this person is a fasik and he does not perform salah he does not care about psalm he is never given his homes all of those he rejects completely rejects if that person comes to me and asks is matam mustahab to him i have to say for you it might be haram for you and might be haram why because at the time of this mustahab the thing that he needs the most is to learn about salah and psalm and hajj and khums and zakat the thing that he needs most is to know what is halal and what is haram the knowledge of what is halal and what is haram you do not pay attention to the knowledge of halal and haram and yet you want to come here and do the aza of imam hussein like this this is another cultural thing that has it, all around the world it's the same when we say how we we, we are going to do aza aza of imam hussein what is it normally when we say this in the indian cultures when you do farshiyaza farshiyaza bichaije what what does that mean that means that it has to start sometimes with the recitation of quran or else it just starts from salam 
Marasi, like Marcia, and then a local scholar or the scholar called, invited from the outside, he gets on the member and he recites the majlis and then after majlis there is. That's common sense, that's a common uh, famous version of Azar. Aza is something that we do to console or offer condolence to whom? To Ahlul Bayt alayhi salatu wasalam and to the Mu'mineen. What is the message of Karbala? What is the message of Karbala? Amr bil like Imam Hussein says, Islah fi ummati jaddi, one, Amr bil ma'aruf, two, nahi anil munkar, three, wa asira bi sirati jaddi wa abi. And to walk on the sirat of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam and Ali ibn Abi Talib, alayhi afdul salatu wa sallam, sallu ala Muhammad wa alayhi Muhammad. Allahumma sallu ala We do, if we do everything related to mourning Imam al Hussein alayhi salatu wa salam, and we neglect to spread the message of Islah, spread the message of reform, spread the message of Amr bil Ma'ruf, spread the message of Nahi anil Munka. Spread the idea of walking on the path of Rasulullah and Ali ibn Abi Talib. Then have we fulfilled the purpose of Karbala or not? This is just an example, just an example. We don't do all of that, but we would like to know whether Sinazani is mustahab or not. I love doing Sinazani myself. I have videos to prove it. There were ulama on the day of Ashura when everybody would be out there in the procession doing Ya Hussein and Ya Hussein, Ya Abbas and Ya Hussein. Hmm? <coughs> These ulama would be in their study on the day of Ashur doing research on halal and haram, doing research on fiqh. When asked, why are you not out there? It is the day of Ashur. Why are you still sitting here? You should not be sitting inside. You should be out there doing what? Azza of Imam Hussein. They would reply, that is one form of Azza. And this is another form of Azar. For me, this is the better one, so I do this one. For me, this is the better one, so I do this one. Knowledge. The best ibadah. They asked me, what, do we, what should we do on the night of Ashura? It is the night that uh, it's also mustahab to stay awake on that night and do the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and do tasbihat and tahleelat and tahmeedat and takbirat and read different duas and ziyarat all these are mustahab if you have a community or a group of youth who do not know what is halal and what is haram for them it is better to stay up all night with a scholar and ask him questions what is right and what is wrong if they do that they have given they have offered condolences to imam al hussein by doing this is it right or is it no whoever agrees with me read aloud salawat <laughs> So you understand now the priorities and your when it comes to your responsibilities (coughs) 
one of our ulama in Pakistan, when asked, is doing aza wajib or mustahab? He said that in normal days, when it is not the days of Muharram, it is wajib. He went that far, actually. In normal days, it could be wajib. But in the days of Muharram, it is awjab. It is awjab. Why is it wajib? Because it gives us the lesson of Islam. Gives us the message of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Shows us the seerat of Ali ibn Abi Talib and Fatima al Zahra salamullahi alayhima. Tells us how important Quran is. If Quran was not that important, four Qur'a, four Qari, Hufab, just from Bani Hamadan were present in Karbala and they were martyred in Karbala. Each and every one of them loved to perform Salah. Each and every one of them loved doing dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Imam Hussein alayhi salatu wasalam writes a letter to Habib ibn Madahir. Min Hussein ibn Ali. Min Hussein ibn Ali. إلى الرجل الفقيه from حسين بن علي عليه أفضل الصلاة والسلام to whom a man who is a فقيه فقيه who is فقيه who knows what is halal and what is haram who knows the details of فقه he is the one who is known as فقيه حبيب بن مظاهر in his youth, he was a sahib of Rasulullah, companion of Rasulullah. He used to follow around Imam al Hussein when he was young. <laughs> Muslim ibn Awsaja, Habib ibn Madahir, Zuhair ibn Qain, Burair Hamadani. People like this. And the mirage of all the, the, the awards that Imam gave in Karbala. He told Hur that Anta Hurrun fit dunya wal akhira. Huh? With all these statements, and amongst those, one shines brighter than the sun. When Abu Thamama Sayyidawi. While battling, he reminds Imam al Hussein that it is time for Dhuhr Salah. And Imam says, Ja'alakallahu min al Musalleen. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala count you amongst those who love to perform Salah. We love to perform salah. Innama yataqabbalullahu minal muttaqeen. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accepts only from whom? Muttaqeen. If you do not care about salah, if you do not care about sawm, if you do not care about hajj, if you do not care about khums, zakat, if you do not care about amr bil ma'roof, nahi anil munkar, if you do not care about the teachings of Islam, and yet you want to come to the majlis of Aza, and at the end you want to do what? Is this amal of yours? Do you think it will be accepted? What do you say? Come on. Do you think it will be accepted? No. 
غير الصلاة وغير الصوم The real purpose of Karbala Alhamdulillah I was uh, very much delighted to know time's up to know that this center starts um, the program before Maghrib <coughs> one hour before Maghrib and just before Maghrib they have a rule that it, the, the, the program has to finish so Maghrib Salah starts at time such a great thing although it cuts my speech short to 30 minutes but that's okay This is something, this is, this is a lesson. This in itself is Amr bil Ma'roof. This in itself is a message to those little kids sitting here, the youth, that why, why, why do they finish early? Or why do we only have two nohas? Or only five minute or 10 minute matam? Why? That's a good thing. People start to complain, or oh, they only give us five minutes, or they only give us ten minutes. When they will go out, they will say this, and then people will ask, why do they have to do that? Then the answer will get, oh, they, have, they say that they have to pray Maghrib. He himself will prove himself guilty. It's such a nice strategy, mashallah. Read a loud salawat. So always know that if you have some offerings for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, have taqwa in your heart so your amal can be accepted. Allahu Akbar, if you spend all your life doing something that did not have taqwa in it, your amal. You pray salah, you are qiyam, ruku, sujood. Do you think this qiyam, ruku, and sujood, it reaches Allah? On the day of Adha, Eid al-Adha, slaughter, make sacrifice. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, the blood, the flesh, it does not come to me. What reaches me is taqwa, taqwa. The word taqwa is you. What reaches me is taqwa. I will talk more about taqwa inshallah tomorrow. And uh, we'll go into the details and uh, we'll see what Amirul Mu'mineen Ali ibn Abi Talib has to say about this inshallah and other Ammatul Huda alayhim afdalu salatu wa salam. Tonight is, today was the sixth day of Muharram. This is about to end. It is not easy for a father who has sacrificed everything Starting from the morning, son of Zahra, son of Rasulullah, he would pick up a body, bring it back, then pick up another body, bring it back, then pick up another body, bring it back. Something that is not easy for Imam to do when he has to see his own Ashab whom he loved with all his heart to do all day long. Brought back Habib 
brought back Zuhair, brought back Muslim, brought back Ali al Akbar, brought back Qasim. He is tired from the old days work on the day of Ashur. And then he goes into Khayyam. He sees a six month baby in the crib who cannot move due to thirst. The narrations say, is something in the dictionaries, in the Lugat, it is not described just by one word. It is described in a few lines. They say that when you take out the fish from water and you throw it outside, first, due to lack of water, the, the fish turns around, jumps around, wants to get back into the water, it jumps around. They say that that Nature is not yet Allah. When it gets weaker, then it starts to flip to the right, then flip to the left. Even that is not yet Allah. When there is nothing left in that fish, no energy left in that fish, it opens its lips and close this opening of the lips and closing of the mouth this is what is known as when Imam saw Ali on al -Asghar in the Khayyam near Asr Ashur Ali on al -Asghar would open his mouth could not move around, he could not even cry, the energy is gone, all that is left is to open the mouth, then close the mouth, the of Karbala. the baby, carries him in, in, on his hands, takes him to the Shqiyya. He gets near to the Khwaj, and he shows them the baby. Look at the baby, he's so weak. Due to thirst and hunger, he cannot even cry anymore. He cannot even move anymore. All he does is open his mouth and close. Can you give me some water to give it to my six months baby? How much water does a baby need? How much water does a baby need? <coughs> this is a glass of water. Do you think a six month baby can drink the whole glass? No. 
Half a glass? No. When you have nothing to put water in the baby's mouth, usually mothers, these mothers, they, they do like this. They put two fingers in the water and then those fingers go into the mouth of a baby. <laughs> much, just two, three drops of water, two, three drops of water, Imam says, وكيف استسقي لطفلي فأباه يرحموني, I ask them for water for my little kid, for my little baby, and they denied me water. Instead, what happened? Hormala Ibn Sa'd says, this line is said to Hormala, iqta' kalam al husayl <laughs> Hormala takes out the arrow. Now, this is not the arrow, normal arrow. The narrations say, this is a three-headed arrow. This is a three-headed arrow, and in those days, this arrow was used to take down camels. <laughs> he takes the aim, he releases the arrow. The narrations say, the one who could not move anymore, Due to this, about him the narrations say, يتم المل الصبي على صدر أبيه. He turned around on the chest of his father. The arrow did not pierce the neck of Ali al it was so big for that little neck of Ali al-Azhar. وَذَبِحَهُ مِنَ الْأُذُنِ إِلَى الْأُذُنِ It slaughtered the little throat of Ali al-Azhar from one ear to another ear. blood on his head, throws it into the sky. The narrations say not a single drop came back. Allah ala ala kullahi ala al-qawmi ba'alameen. Wa sayyalamu ladhina ghalamu wa yaman khalibi ha'alim. Inna lillahi wa inna lillahi ha'ajaoon ridhan bi qadaihi wa taslim al-lam. ماتم الحسين الله صل على